Hello friends, before I lose the light today, I'm gonna to film an empties video because I've got a ton that I need to show you because I wanna bin them. As usual, I'm just gonna pull them out in uh, no specific order. And uh, this is on top. Uh, this is the Faith in Nature Aloe Vera Conditioner. I found this big bottle in uh, TK Maxx for about six pounds. Normally they're around 10 for this size. Um, I have since repurchased it. Um, did I buy two? No, I have repurchased it though because I really like it. It makes my hair feel really, really soft. I really like it and it smells really good as well and I love that it's got a pump. Um, I don't love that it's got a pump when it gets down to the bottom because it makes it difficult to get the conditioner out the bottom. Um, but... I already had a new one so I haven't, I've got as much of it as I could out of there. Maybe I need to cut it open. Um, next up is a deodorant from the co-op. Does it say vegan on it? Yes it does, it does say vegan on it. Um, it is the Cool Blue 48 Hour Antiperspirant. Um, I've been trying to find a replacement for Mitchum for ages and um, this is one of the ones I tried in my search. Uh, I probably won't repurchase this. It's okay, but I don't love it. Next up was this uh, shampoo from Phil Smith. The top is missing because it broke basically as soon as I bought it. And um, it's the Nourishing Repair Hello Moisture one. I quite like the Phil Smith hair stuff. I mean, it's very affordable. You can buy it in Sainsbury's. But I was not blown away by this. Um, in fact, I have bought a Lush Solid you know, shampoo bar and I prefer that much more. So I probably won't buy this again. Not at the moment anyway. Snow Fairy. It's getting to that time of year again when this is going to be available soon. But this is one that I had hoarded. And in fact, the use by date, if I told you what the use by date was, you would tell me off so I'm not going to it's it's kind of old put it that way um, but yeah I used this up recently um, uh, in readiness for the new ones coming out this year I will re be repurchasing it for sure now in this little thing there's all my old Lush containers these are actually ones that I went through in my last 80s video um, but I'm just storing them up so that I can um, take my pots in and get my face mask and so I've got two things at least maybe more in here that I can return one is a celestial moisturizer again that's in every empties video because it's the one I use every day and then the other one is a rosy cheeks face mask and um, this is still like full but it's but it's really past its sell by date and it's a fresh face mask so I don't think you can actually keep using them um, it's two years out of date that can't be right I did not buy this two years ago that can't be right two years ago has that really been sat in my fridge for two years oh my god what a minger uh, it never got used up because I didn't like it basically it, it just it did nothing for my skin it was a little bit drying I've got dry skin anyway so I don't really want to be putting drying face masks on there um, so yeah I, I much prefer OT Fix love that one um, if it feels like I'm rushing through this apologies but I'm losing the light fast because it's now coming into autumn or it is autumn and it's half past four and yeah so Sorry. Um, so next up is the Soap and Glory Peaches and Clean Cleanser. I do have another one of these, um, but I haven't really been using it because I found other stuff that I like. Um, so I probably won't repurchase this anytime soon, but I did like it. Heritage Store Rose Water. This was possibly in my last video too. I use this all the time. Um, I like I keep the old bottle because I can't seem to find the one with the pump anymore with the sprayer anymore so I tend to just decant it into my old bottle and keep that one but yeah that's another one that I've used up 
Merimea by Faze Eye Makeup Remover. This is my favourite eye makeup remover. I had already repurchased it before I used this one up. Um, I don't I don't often use a lot of eye makeup remover. I generally use it, I used to use it for cleaning up sort of like eyeliner and stuff when I messed it up, but I tend to use micellar water for that now just because it's not got an oily base. This is you know, obviously it's an oil and a watery based liquid that you mix together. But I love this, it's really gentle, it doesn't make my eyes sting. And in the past I tried other bi-phase ones and they just used to really make my eyes burn. But this one doesn't. I love this. It's a little bit pricey, but I think it lasts a really long time, so worth it. Ooh, a lush bath bomb. Blackberry bath bomb. I don't know why I put these in here, because you can't see it, so I'm going to have to post a picture of it in the corner somewhere up there. Um, I remember it was purple. About it. I love but Luscious Bath Bombs, so I would have liked it. Uh, next up was the Body Shop Aloe Deodorant. Did I actually finish that? Yeah, I did. Um, again, another one I tried in my quest for the perfect deodorant. Um, I quite like this one. If you like a roll on, it's quite nice. I didn't love it, but I used it also, clearly didn't hate it. Probably would buy it again. Oh look, there's the conditioner that goes along with that Phil Smith shampoo, again. God, there's dust. Oh. Um, I, I didn't enjoy this at all. Won't rebuy. I'm bidding this concealer from uh, Freedom, which is their Pro HD Longwear, just because I stopped using the Freedom stuff for a while. Because um, if you watched my last beauty chat video, you would have seen that I was frustrated with Tan Beauty for not confirming vegan items, but they do that now. It's on their website, and this is vegan. However, because I hadn't used it for so long, it all separated and gone all skanky. So, bin. I used a Horror lip balm. This one was Licorice, which is my favourite, and Simon's least favourite because he hates licorice. I love it. I love putting it on and going near him and he's like, oh, you stink. <laughs> Definitely will repurchase that one. Another Lush, this was Yummy Mummy Shower Cream. This was a limited edition shower gel for Mother's Day, I believe, earlier this year. And it, can I still smell it? Cause, oh, it smells so good. So good. I really wish this was permanent. Can you take the bottles back to... Recycle the top in your local Lush shop. Okay. The rest goes in the recycle here. Um, I love the smell of that shower cream. I, I really wish it was permanent. But it isn't. Steam cream. I, fit, I had this for ages. And I'm going to keep this tin because look how adorable it is. It's got a moustache on it. Um, I love steam cream. In fact... I has one somewhere on this pigsty of a desk. They have all different types of uh, tins. It is Vegan Society certified and it's just an uh, all-purpose moisturiser. I do use this on my face, um, but I really like it as hand cream. And it's really nice when you're flying. Like, yeah, love it. <coughs> Dust is making me sneeze. When my skin's really dry, I'll use it at night time. It's quite heavy, but I love it. So I love the smell of it. It smells like lavender. Original source hand soap. This was the mango flavour. Um, I have the mango shower gel, and it's my favourite original source. But can I find this again? Can I? No. But it's basically exactly the same thing in the inside just in a hand soap dispenser so I'm tempted to keep this and just decant a shower gel into it and use it as hand soap I'm pretty sure they're the same thing they just get to charge different amounts for them so yeah I'm keeping that um, oh, myself. and also we used a mint one Again, I'm pretty sure it's just the mint shower gel. 
repackaged. This was a candle wax melt. So you put it in um, the top of like an oil burner and then you put a little tea light underneath and it melts and it fills your room with scent. And this is from a company called Blues Designs who um, I discovered at a vegan fair and bought some of their candles and their wax melts are amazing. They last so long. I think I must have burnt this at least six times and it's still it's still got fragrance in it. They're so good. I will link them in the description box below because if you love candles, scented candles, or if you want to try the wax melts, they're amazing, then go support them. They've also just got Vegan Society registration too, which is awesome. So, Blues Designs, love them. Next up, I finished this um, powder. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Loose Powder. Um, I really like this and I used every last scrap of it. It's a really nice powder. Um, I haven't seen it for a while, I'm not sure if it was been discontinued. Too Faced is not that easy to get in the UK, I mean you have to buy it online or if you're very lucky you might live near a Debenhams or something that sells it but I don't. Um, I would buy it again, it's, it's quite expensive but I think it's worth it, it's a really nice powder. Original sauce. Cherry and jojoba, that was nice. I like that one. Um, I didn't put in all the original source empties because you're probably bored of seeing them from these empty videos because they're Simon's favourite shower gel and he uses, you know, one a week. So that's all this bag would be. Uh, another, another wax melt from Blues Designs. This one was vanilla sugar. I don't remember this one as much as I remember the other one. This one was salted caramel. In fact, this one's still going, salted caramel. It's amazing. Um, Lee Stafford Hold Tight Hairspray. There's some left, but it's not a terrible, but I'm binning it because it's not a terrible product. I just don't know if you can see. Yeah, so I don't, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the nozzle gets really clogged. Hello, focus. Focus on my face. Um, yeah, so I um, that happens a lot. Doesn't matter how often you clean it, like it just happens a lot, and it just it means the spray comes out like all over the place, and it's kind of gross. So I'm bidding it. I have got some other hairspray on the go. A Phil Smith one, which is quite nice. Quite like it. Another Lee Stafford product is the detangling spray. I love this, I've already got another one. Um, I have really fine, knotty hair. And when I wash it, it's quite difficult to get the tangle teaser through it. And in fact, the tangle teaser is the only thing that does go through it. And this just helps it be a little less stressful. So if you have knotty hair, give that a go. Oh look, another Celestial. Uh, a mini Lee Stafford this time. This is the spray shine thing. Um, I, ha I do have a full size one of these, but I love the little minis for holiday and also for my gym bag. Um, this is really nice. I, like I say, I've already replaced it. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. Uh, I have a Flawless Mist and Fix Setting Spray Dewy Finish by Barry M. I quite like this cheap and cheerful I don't know if it really prolonged the life of my makeup but with the exception of Urban Decay's All Nighter I'm not sure I've ever tried one that really does but I do like it to settle down powders and stuff I I would rebuy this one pretty sure they have a matte one too for those of you who are not into a dewy look uh, Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner tattoo liner it dried up I had this ages um, for people who have seen a lot of people say that theirs dried out really quick. What I would say with any pen liner is store it upside down, so cap on the bottom. Because um, that way it keeps the ink flowing and it will last you so much longer. Otherwise, I mean, I thought this had dried up in like a month and I was so angry because it's really expensive. I turned it upside down and realised I hadn't been storing it upside down and it actually lasted me a really long time. <sighs> A lot of people love this liner and it's like their holy grail eyeliner. For me, I like it, but I won't repurchase it because 
it's nothing special. I think there are cheaper liners on the market which do the job as well, if not better. So I probably won't repurchase it. Oh look, another one. Jasmine and Lily. Which smells like aftershave to me. It's really nice. Okay. Black Cherry Crazy Rumors Lip Balm. This is possibly my favourite smell. I, you know, I can. I, it changes. Changes every time I buy a new one. I love all the Crazy Rumors and I'm really sad that Holland and Barrett are stopping selling it. But if you're lucky, your local Holland and Barrett might still have them really cheap. So go stock up if they have. I've got about six of them on my desk. And then lastly, I've got a shaving product. Um, it says four men on it. But come on, Body Shop. It's for anyone who wishes to shave, not necessarily men. Um, it is the Maca Root Shave Cream. Now, my little rant about the wording aside, this is actually Simon's. Um, he loves it. I've already bought him two more. So yeah, if you have someone in your life who has a beard or likes to shave off their beard. Yeah, it was uh, it was on offer when I bought it, like three for two on all the men's range. Um, and I got him this and a, a moisturizer, which he never uses. He literally just shaves, uh, but he really likes this. So yeah, that's the keeper. Have I got anything else? Is that everything? That's everything. Okay. Um, thank you for watching.